You didn't have oceans. That came after the flood. Vast amounts of water. But the thing was, is they didn't know what rain was. How was the earth watered at that time? This came up. So it was dew that would water us. Come up, mist, and they looked at this man and they thought he was crazy. But listen, Methuselah was before him, yes. Genesis 1 verse 6, and God called the dry land earth and the gathering together of the waters, he called seas, and God saw that it was good. So they had some seas, not like we have now, but some seas. Seas, mm -hmm. not vast body of waters as oceans. You had to have some type of salt water because if there's whales today, there would be whales then, right? They live in salt water. But nothing the way it is today. So, apparently where Noah lived, there wasn't a very large body of water or you think he would have built the boat near it, right? But he built it on dry land and waited for the water to come to him. Is that right? So brothers and sisters, as I end this morning, I want you to think two things. Number one, what would it have been like if you lived next door to Noah? And he's got this construction project going on. And he tells you what it is. And now how long did it take him to build this boat? 120 years. So he was a uh, preacher of righteousness for 120 years, and God gave those people from Noah's time 120 years of probation, right? Before Noah, there was Methuselah, and before Methuselah, there was Enoch, and they preached God, and before Enoch, Adam was still alive. If you questioned God, or you questioned your origins, and Adam was still around, <laughs> kind of hard to get past that. But I'm sure they had many different viewpoints of God. Viewpoints that were wrong, deceptive, and in the end, caused them to lose their eternal lives. How many people got in that boat? Eight. Eight. Brothers and sisters, we are at the end of this world. And the question is, is will you be smart enough to get in the ark? Or will you believe the deception that the world gives you? Time will not last forever. You don't know if you have tomorrow. But God gives you probation today. He gives you the choice of eternal life right now. The Bible tells you that today is the day of salvation. Today is the day you need to make your choice whether to serve God or serve Baal. Because it's either one or the other. There's no middle line. There's no walk in the fence. You are either a son of God or you're a son of the world. Mm. Which one will you choose? Our closing hymn this morning is number 341.